You know, if you suffer from digestive problems, the answer may not be in your stomach, but rather in your neck. Our first guest is a high school athlete whose digestive problems just about it brought everything in his life to a halt. After an exhausting search for answers, Nick Owens finally got the help he needed from Dr. Ray Drury with Upper Cervical Health Centers. Dr. Drury, Nick, and Nick's dad, John, join us now. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having us. Uh, John, we'll start with you. Talk about your son's health scare. What was going on? He had a lot of digestive problems, as we mentioned. Nick was diagnosed with some rare, unknown, deadly virus that that put him in the hospital for about 28 days. Mm. We spent the first 10 days, he had 103 temperature and he threw up every 45 minutes. Oh my God. Every five, 45 minutes all day long. He ended up losing 25 pounds in 10 days. We sent him to Duke Medical Center for more treatment and more of these tests and results. Um, after the fever broke and the unknown virus they believed was gone, they, the side effects of it, what was, I guess, diagnosed was he had stomach paralysis, which his stomach kept rejecting anything that was coming into his body, even, even if nothing was coming into his body, he would just continually throw up. Um, we went through various, various tests and EEG um, exams of his head and his brain, and uh, when we came back to Charlotte, at this point, there was nothing. Uh, he was on five different medications. We had no idea what was going on with him, and he wasn't getting better, even after the virus was gone. So a good friend of ours told us about Dr. Drury and upper, the Upper Cervical Center. And it, at this point, I was ready to try anything and everything. And so we went to Dr. Drury, and again, Nick was still throwing up. Dr. Drury did his exam, which he'll go through more of the specifics of it, but went through his exam and did his first adjustment within five minutes laying, laying in the uh, waiting room. Um, Nick was hungry. Nick, I know that had to be a beautiful feeling for you. <laughs> so, Dr. Drury, tell us, how did you get to the bottom of Nick's problem? Well, so first of all, you have to understand how the body works, okay? So like when we eat something, we take a bite, we chew, we swallow, right? And then what? Well, we don't, we lose control at that point. Something else takes over, okay? And that's, we have an intelligence in our body, fortunately, we were born with. It's actually called innate intelligence, the intelligence we were born with. And that takes over the digestive process from there. Well, that digestive process is controlled by the nerves that come from the brain. The brain sends a message down to the stomach and the rest of the body, telling the body how to function and what to do with that food and how to digest it and how to process it. So when John called me, he called before he actually came into the office and he told me, he said, his stomach just quit working. And you know, immediately I'm thinking, okay, well, what controls the stomach? Well, it's the nerves. So maybe there's some disconnect between his brain and the nerve system that tells the stomach what to do and how to do it. If there is, if we can open up those messages, then the normal messages should get to the stomach and the stomach should start to work normally. Okay, so Nick, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Mm -hmm. I eat whatever I want to eat and I can do physical activity and for once, in a couple months, I'm just a normal kid, which is awesome. I, I would say more than physical activity, baseball star now. Congratulations. <laughs> we understand you have a baseball scholarship. Yes, ma'am, to NC State. Congratulations. Can, Dr. Drew, can you talk about how the adjustments help someone like Nick and people who have all kinds of mm -hmm. medical issues going on, how these adjustments help them? Okay, so in, in Nick's case, it happened to be the specific nerves going to the stomach, okay? Well, every message in your entire body has to go through these top two bones in the neck, to the pancreas, the colon, the, the lungs, the liver, everywhere in the body. So if one of those bones in the upper neck just slightly out of a line, just enough to where it could interfere with those messages, then wherever those particular nerves are going to, if it's going to the colon, it could cause constipation, irritable bowel, Crohn's disease, to the lungs, it could affect his breathing, asthma, emphysema. You know, it just depends on where those particular pathways are going. So what I do is try to find that blockage between the brain and the body, remove it, and then the body, normal messages get to the body from the brain and things start to normalize. It's that simple. I'm so <laughs> happy for you and that you have found something that works for you. That's fantastic.